Hey everybody, welcome back to Valkyria Revolution. Alrighty. Wait for the display to switch over. And time, we got 10.38. Okay. What's the matter? Alrighty. So, what can we exchange for? Oh. Oh! Well, 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 uh... Sorta... <clears throat> enemy Assault Team. Route the enemy commander. Well, maybe now we can find a I'll fucking ace. Alright, it's about to... We'll deploy in the south, run up that way, goals to defeat the enemy commander. Uh, hmm. Yeah, deploy. <laughs> Think it's like a. <clears throat> Was it wind magic? Is there wind magic or water magic I gotta kill dudes with? Hmm. Let's do this. Piece Open of cake, fire. right? They've got oh, wow. They came fast. That was a bit weird, just like, hey, we're dudes! Like, four commanders just spawn out of nowhere. No match for us. Oh, hey, dudes! More dudes! All the dudes! Oh, kind of targets it targets it so you can actually so it actually affects a lot of people oh, that's nice let's go this way
Where are these aces at? Is that a... no. I can't... Okay, I can't go down the road for... Wait and find more beers. Commander down. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, we okay, we we went through this way. We didn't go this way though. Hey, it's a metal gear. Find this ace, though. Had a bad feeling. Now, that should be enough. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Unlimited power! Oh, 
Um. Think you could take me? Huh. And. Mission complete. Oh, I did kill the ace. Okay. Wherever the fuck he was at. So diesel. Diesel. What's the matter? All right, so base captured. Enemies felled by rifle. Huh. Light well th tanks murdered. Well done. Ah, it was water alchemy. That was fire alchemy. Well done. Counter battle. Well done. Defensive battle. Hmm. So we need to go kill some dudes with rifles. Wonderful. Uh, actually, we got new bits and bobs. Alright, so I need to burn people to death now. Yo! My spinny move. What do you want? Unless I got a do I have better blasty, burny, death. A straight line. No. Yeah, we'll shoot. We'll just shoot the regular dudes. All right, so I need that needs twelve experience. Spinning wind that gets twelve. Pretty good, yeah. Gives ten. Pretty good, yeah. And we need thirty for that. Conveniently. How about this? Okay, cool. That's a little up. I mean, it probably 
there probably gets more thingies added to it as it goes on, but, you know. Oh, actually... Actually, I wonder how many... I wonder how many missions you have to go on before your custom orders are in. Traveling merchant. Welcome. So is there a attacks and burns in a straight line? Sarah, I've been meaning to ask for a while now, but where do you go after we win a battle? Eh? Uh, hold your lindworms, what do you mean? When we retreat or have a tough fight, you stick with the squad, but when we win, you head off somewhere, don't you? Yeah, what's with that? I don't mean to pry or anything, but I am a little curious. I go visit my uncle, you know, where he's buried. His grave? Never had a mommy or daddy, and no chemic designer reigns me. He was my only family, so when he came back from fighting, or so when we came, bleh, when we came back from fighting, I go say, "Hi, uncle, I'm home." I see. Visiting his grave often to report your safe return, Sarah. You're such a good. Uh, you order? You don't gotta cry about it. Why do you only go when we win? Oh, that's because Uncle really hates, hated sad stories. He just never liked hearing gloomy stuff. Whenever I made a frowny face, he'd tell me his studio only <laughs> runs on smiles. That's why I only say hi when we win, so it's with a smile. I guess we know where she gets it from. <laughs> yep, yep, sounds legit. Now that you mention it, I mean, I always wanted to be just like him when I grew up. I understand now. You were raised by your uncle in place of a father, but you never got to yeah. know a mother's love. Yeah. Alright, Sarah. Think of me as your mother from now on. I'll hug you gently as a mother would. No way. Really? Yay! Thanks, Mama Jorder! Wow, cool! Wow, Mama Jorder! What chiseled boobs you have! Harry, too! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, isn't it? A mother's chest is sturdy. <laughs> this is so wrong. But I guess it is kind of heartwarming. <laughs> your boobs are so <laughs> your boobs are so chiseled and hairy. <laughs> nice work. The fuck. Take your time. Ah, what are you? Ah, uh, uh, oh. Come back soon. Sorry, old man. You done damn got way too much, uh... Oh, whoops. Welcome. Come back soon. I forgot that I actually bolt some shit. Mink fur. Decadently so soft pelt that channels one's inner power and is said to bring luck. Well, 
welcome. Have a good one. Come on in. So what is... So we got a new pouch. Magic defense, fire resistance... This is just defense and jet. Yeah, Cord Cordovan is, but this is yeah, that's defense in general. Mink for HP up. So do I want gun resistance or just flat out defense? I kind of think I just want flat out defense for now. Anytime. I was all planning for a story mission and stuff, and the Empire was like, Look at us, we're dicks! You did too many free missions! Now we're going to attack you! We're going to get you! What's the matter? Okay, so what do we need to do again? Kill scouts, defensive... Okay, we need to murder people with fire. Sapper scouts, caches, rifle kills. Sash scout, cache, right. Yeah, that's what, uh, kill people with ri rifles and fire. I mean, the sappers and the scouts will just come around. So, rifles and fire. Alright, Imperial Reconnaissance. Capture all bases. Op details are as follows. We have our next mission. We're scouting the enemy presence in T Tamir Road. Be prepared to engage your defensive line and determine their strength. We'll deploy from Ipsaria. Now that we have control of Ipsaria, we need to draw a line in the sand. That means seizing Ruse's base in Tamir Road. Once we charge through, the enemy will concentrate their fire on us. Stay in cover and make your way to the base. Once we have control, our orders will hold our ground. Do not pursue. We need That's only all. to push them back. Bannergan. That's all. Oh. Didn't know he actually said that bit. If we're gonna have people fo fuck us firing on us... Okay, I did actually buy that fire shot. Yeah, if we're if we're gonna be having people fuck us fire on us, then there. All right, you guys don't fucking get killed. Well. It'd be kind of hard to get you killed, but still, don't be dicks. Block all the bullets. I mean, you, you tell me that we're gonna have—they're gonna concentrate fire on us, and of course, I'm gonna take assholes with riot shields. It only makes sense. They got the rocket launchers. I got the gun. I just need to shoot five dudes. I got ten shots to kill. Well, ten, ten volleys to kill five dudes, and then I got a light like five or ten dudes on fire. Okay, good thing they have rocket launchers. Enemy at the gates. What? Damn it. They've come already. We haven't recovered from our retreat from Ipsaria yet. Can we hold out? We only need to drive the enemy force back, not engage them fully. Hold the line and do not pursue. Attack! Sir, the princess is here. <laughs> She's kicking our asses. Elevation and ladders. The squad can jump down ladders and from certain elevations. Approach these ledges and press the R1 button. Once a character jumps down to a lower elevation, there's no getting back up. 
Press R1 inside tall grass to crouch and hide. Enemies won't notice a hidden squad approach, and performing an attack from the battle pallet will create an ambush that surprises the enemy. You cannot hide again after being discovered, which will be displayed on the screen. Enemies may also be hiding in the grass, so if so, a careless approach could lead to being ambushed. Some secondary weapons will flush enemies out of hiding. It might be best to clear Let's a path. Do this. Let's do this. Intercept the enemy. I'm going in. Dudes, really? Who's next? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cluster up. That fire shot ain't as powerful as I thought it would be. Sorry. This looks easy enough. Be mindful. Sorry. Burn them all. Open fire. for us. Mm. 
Alright, it won't let me jump down from... Tango sighted. Who's next? Commander down! that who's next I'm going in burn the ball I'm with you. who's next <laughs> sorry burn the ball shit all right some horse skin. Our 
Grenade back. Wait. Mission complete. Oh, okay. As expected. Now, if I just get like a fire wave that hits multiple targets. Uh, at this rate, we'll be wiped out. We need to retreat. Oh, we have no choice. Fall back. Not so fast. Hold back. My orders were to not pursue. Y yeah, but. We're going to allow our foe to flee before our very eyes? Dear, dear, the line of a commoner is incomprehensible. The mission's over. Return to base. Please, wait, Amlet. You've explained so little to us. Even if you are a skilled captain, this is going too far. With this, the Imperial army at Ipsaria's borders withdrew completely, and just as the traitors had planned, the Lieutenant Colonel was called back to the capital. See officers Club and Zoidberg. Going forward, let's discuss Violet the traitor and her other persona. Good evening, Mr. Leonid. Margarita. <sighs> what a pleasant surprise. Why, I was just thinking of this. Of me? Oh, I'm flattered. Even if it was just a lie. It's not. I wanted to see you. Especially tonight. To think I still had some luck. It really is astonishing. Margarita? I suppose you can't help but be surprised. This aspect of her isn't touched upon in the history books. Margarita was one of the names she used. Violet the traitor had many relationships with Imperial officers for her reconnaissance. It's written she would steal information and kill them to destroy the evidence. That said, I think they went overboard by calling her an unprecedented femme fatale. Yes. For her honor, I will tell you this. She never killed any of the officers. In fact, she was too kind for a spy. Violet would send her intelligence in coded letters that only the traitors could understand. The recipient of those letters was Amlet, who was also in the military. Jackpot. There's gonna be a grand general posted there. It appears that Avalon has become a location with more significance to us than Jutland. Question is, which one? So there are things even Violet can uncover. Regardless, it's good news. I anticipate it'll be Admiral Gustav. 
Gustav Sharp, the Empire's best tactician. He knows how to handle a weapon and is rumored to be the most skilled of the Grand Generals. If Ruse is bolstering its defenses for winter, they might rely on Gustav. Could be the big galoosh, though. We'll find out when we get there. Please do. That said, what worries me is when precisely a Grand General will be deployed to Avalon. Yeah, because it's smack dab in the middle of our prep time. Almost like they already know Jutland's invading Avalon. You think we've sprung a leak? It's always a possibility. We are in a time of war now. The military, parliament, business world, even those in town are suspect. The only people we can trust is us five. Doesn't matter who comes. We're taking Avalon. We'll get to the Emperor one step at a time if that's what it takes. Which one was Gustav? Hmm. Hmm. All right. If Sirius sends Ragnite supplies to Jutland, weakening Ruse's economic nice. stranglehold. Yeah, the Arctic crews are all even tempered. Guess public support is still steady. Grenade range... Just attack up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crit rate up. Pierce up. Could just get straight up. Two to two? Yeah, I could just... Fuck it. Get some goddamn mink gloves going. Come back anytime. Not tanneries over here. Welcome. Did you have mink fur? Hey, you did. Come again. Something? 
Sorry to keep you waiting. What do you think of the cake? You... you created something unbelievable again. Do you really plan to sell this at your cafe? You bet. It took me all night to perfect this persimmon and escargot tart. Be the next big hit at the cafe. Oh. Persimmon and escargot? I simmered some escargot and maple syrup and sprinkled it with chili powder and then baked it in with ripe persimmons. Mm. Helena, whomever ends up becoming your husband will have the hard life for a variety of reasons. My husband, huh? Now that's a thought. What about you, Bridget? What's your type? Hmm? Why do you want to know that? I've been th we've been through this. Gathering with the girls and gossiping about love is a time-honored tradition. I don't think it is. So what is it, Bridget? Young men? You know, the whole I'll teach you what's what thing? Let me see... Well, I like men who are calm and collected. Also tidy. I won't yield on that aspect. I want someone who's understanding, who doesn't care about the details and is always supportive. I think someone who's your exact opposite would suit you. Someone who fixes your mistakes and curbs your recklessness. Reckless mistakes? What's that supposed yeah. to mean? In a word, this cake. Helena, someone who accepts you as you are is good, but you should be with someone who makes you grow as a person. I believe the love you experience with someone like that will be multiplied rather than simply Thank added. You. You've got a good point. Thanks. I think I better understand what I should look yes. for in romance now. I pray that you'll find a hu find a fine husband soon, so no more of these poor unfortunate cakes will be created. Persimmon hey, and escargot. Okay, then. Yo, what do you want? All right, battle pallet. I think we'll go back to round blaze. Oh, please tell me I can go back to it. All right. Nine. Wait, there's an eleven, a nine, and so discharge fire shots. Earth plus four, fire plus three. Captain? Captain? What is it? What is it? I want to trust you. To trust you. What, are you what are you talking about? If you have a complaint about my command decisions, I'm all ears. I think you know what I mean. No, I don't. I see. Let's discuss this another time. The princess trusts you. Sure. Anything new? 
Well done. What's the matter? <laughs> All right. Well done. Scouts have been replaced by wind alchemy, which I think the zippy zap one is wind. Well done. So wind, wah wah. Ah, oh, there are only two sappers in that mission. Ah, oh, then it's just for some medicine. Well done. So retrieve Morrison. Well done. Oh, good! I can blow people up my rocket launcher again and get rewarded. So much more fun than using a, you know, boring ass rifle. Hmm. Hmm. Fall bolt. Oh, whoops. So we need to use wind and water. Main force is engaged. So there's a battle going on. Up details are as follows. All right. Ruzy forces and or ruse force whatever. Imps. Uh, empires advance. Play from the south, target the enemy, go to defeat the enemy commander. Okay, good for you. Yeah, this is wind. Okay. So, what is this fall bolt they just got? Shield only. Attack surrounding enemy causes, causes guard to shock. Tilda, Tilda. Uh, uh, uh. Never mind. So it was, nope, that, that little bit didn't increase the, okay. So we know unless we get like, <clears throat> if it only holds three shots, then it needs to be over, you know, 33% to get an extra bullet. So that pouch is kind of useless. Let's do this. No match for us. Oh. Hi, buddy. Down. 
not All like... Right. <laughs> it's Ozilla! Who's next? So boring. Oh, we did get an extra grenade, though. Take okay. This. Let's end this. Commander down. Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least, at least we got the. Uh... Yeah, this is awesome. So it increased the number of grenades we could have, but it didn't increase the. It didn't increase the number of, uh... Huh. Yeah. What the fuck is detecting us? <laughs> is it this dick bag? <clears throat> okay. Oh, look at you! Oh, okay, now I have four... Rockets. Unlimited power! Commander down. Push them back. Who's next? Commander down. Okay, are they all dead now? Can I can I open the treasure box? What is detecting me? Who? Is it the guy that ran this way? No match for us. Hi, how are you? Wash away. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was the, that was the ace. Okay. Is that why I was detected? Is it because I, I ran off that way? Can I open this fucking box now? I mean, it's probably something piddly. Yeah, it's just some fucking snake skin, but still, that completes the one bit and gives me a hundred old ladies to spend. Okay, so now they're sending big dudes with fucking furry collars after me, so.
Hello. Did I oh yeah, I need to kill some dude with a rocket launcher. I mean, I could have killed a tank with a rocket launcher. But... Uh, reinforcements, huh? All right. It's almost like a Warriors game in a sense. Oh no, it's, it's the it's the furry color squad. Oh no. Unlimited power. Get lost. Who's next? I must murder all the men's. Push them back. Who's next? Up the butt. All right. I don't think he was retreating. I think he was being propelled away from me by the rocket that went at the wrong end. Just kind of like when you shoot somebody in the butt with a flare gun and a bullet storm, and they fly up into the air. I'm so diesel. Thrusting Squall. Scout only. Shield only. Shield only. Shield. Round Earth. Rock shot. A very slow moving rock bullet from what I've seen. When I was actually, when I had that one chick using it. It's a very, very slow rock bullet. <laughs> It is probably much more efficient just to walk up and go, Crunk Thor smash! <laughs> Me smash with giant sword hammer! <laughs> anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.